Today I will discuss about over refraction in contact lens practice. Refraction over contact lens is called over refraction. After placing trial contact lens on patient's eye, refraction is done to identify any correction is needed to the trial contact lens or not. Suppose after placing trial contact lens, fitting seems optimal but patient's visual acuity is 6 by 12. In Uber refraction, we found that with a spherical trial lens of minus 0.5 diopter, visual acuity reached 6 by 6. So we will add that minus 0.5 diopter power in the next trial contact lens with the same parameters to maintain optimal fit and also to get 6 by 6 visual acuity. Now the question is what are the reasons due to which power reveal in over refraction? The most common reasons are 1. Not converting spectacle power into contact lens power 2. Vertex distance is different in different individual 3. Keratometry measure only central corneal curvature Now let's see the first reason not converting spectacle power into contact lens power. Spectacle is owned in spectacle plane but contact lens is owned in cornea. This distance between spectacle that is back surface of the spectacle lens to anterior surface of the cornea is called vertex distance. Due to this variation in position of spectacle and contact lens induces some power variation between spectacle and contact lens. This power variation is overcome by using the formula spectacle power divided by 1 minus vertex distance in meter multiplied by spectacle power. So if contact lens is fitted without compensating of vertex distance then this power may reveal in over refraction. Suppose a patient's spectacle power is minus 6.5 diopter spherical. If we place a minus 6.5 diopter spherical trial contact lens on patient's eye, we will find over refraction of plus 0.5 diopter spherical. Because after compensating vertex distance that is 12 mm, his contact lens power will be minus 6 diopter spherical. Now the second reason, vertex distance is different in different individual. In the formula to convert spectacle power into contact lens power, we use an average vertex distance that is 12 mm. But different individual may have different vertex distance due to unique structures of face. Variation in vertex distance may induce some power that may reveal in over refraction even if contact lens fitting is optimal fit. Suppose a patient has plus 9 diopter in both eye. With vertex distance 12 mm, his contact lens power will be contact lens power equal to 9 divided by 1 minus 0.012 multiplied by 9 or plus 10 diopter. But if the actual vertex distance of this patient is 16 mm, then contact lens power will be contact lens power equal to 9 divided by 1 minus 0.016 multiplied by 9 or 10.5 diopter. So in this patient, we will find plus 0.5 diopter spherical acceptance in over refraction. Now the third reason, keratometer measure only central corneal curvature. One of the most important parameter of contact lens is base curve, which is selected in relation to corneal curvature. For soft contact lens, base curve equal to average K of cornea plus 1 mm. For hard contact lens, base curve equal to flat K of cornea. Keratometer measure only central 2 to 4 mm that doesn't provide curvature of actual whole cornea. Thus, base curve that is identified by keratometer may not the actual anterior curvature of cornea. Steeper base curve will lead to stiff fit and will form convex tear lens. Flatter base curve will lead to flat fit and will form concave tear lens. Tear lens formed between cornea and contact lens may induce some power which can reveal in over refraction. Now over refraction in soft contact lens. With a trial soft contact lens in eyes, over refraction should only be the difference between ocular refraction and power of trial contact lens. Over refraction equal to ocular refraction minus power of trial contact lens and ocular refraction equal to power of trial contact lens plus over refraction. 
because soft contact lens takes the shape of anterior cornea that result very thin layer of tear lens that is almost zero power. But if we use low water toric soft contact lens, thicker or less flexible, that result will usually be variable. Now, over refraction in rigid contact lens. With a rigid trial contact lens in eyes, the over refraction should be the difference between the ocular refraction and the sum of power of the trial contact lens and the power of trial lens. Uber refraction equal to ocular refraction minus power of trial contact lens plus trial lens. Ocular refraction equal to power of trial contact lens plus trial lens plus Uber refraction. Stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly.